Greetings, all. <laughs> Here we are for another not-so-late-at-night stream. I really did plan to do this earlier today, but other stuff kept getting in the way. Wow, Vincent was in here even before I hit the go live button. Thank you for, for being extra early punctual. Pre-punctual? Probably not good. But anyways, thanks for being here. And non-fam, thank you for being here again. I know, muted. It's because when you start a stream on StreamYard, it leaves the mic hot. Which is good if you're going live right away, but I let it sit for a minute. Let everybody get to their seats, you know, get a drink, all that stuff. And then, then I play the intro video, which does mute my mic. And the five buttons I have to push during that time, the one I often forget is to undo the muting of the mic because I'm not even sure if I can do it until the video stops playing. I think the button's locked, but I got to check that. So anyway... That's how we learn. That's why I'm doing these things every day this month is so I can get familiar with everything again and put more miles on it. Yes, MJ, stuff happens. It's the way it goes. Yeah, we... This is how we learn. We learn the hard way. Shy Guy Bill's here, too. Thanks for stopping in, sir. This is a tall... 3D printer. I've got too many other styles of printers and I've always wanted a Delta. Deltas are just so cool. They move. It's it's like watching a fish tank, man. Unlike watching grass grow, which is kind of what some of the others get to be after a while. So I've always wanted one. I kind of got one. I did some work for somebody one time and they didn't want to pay me and part of what they said in the beginning was is that they had a, a printer and they couldn't get it to work and that's why they came to me to do their, their stuff for them and they then they didn't want to pay me and then i spent way too much time rebuilding models and everything else for the guy and i was like fine whatever bad experience move on and then I was like, wait a minute, he said he'd give me his printer if I could print this stuff for him. So I called him on it, and he put up <clears throat> a little bit of resistance, let's say. <clears throat> and then one night, my camera, ring doorbell camera triggered, and they dropped the printer in, the, in my driveway in the rain one night. How's that? So it's actually a younger version of this, or an older version of this, I guess. And they started to rewire it themselves and they've got power going back into the power supply and like it's just like the positive negatives are going into the wrong places and it's just it's a mess. And I'm not sure it's ever going to work. So when this thing showed up, it was not quite an impulse buy. <laughs> I think that I think that you'd have to check when did Chris Riley do the the Q5, the smaller version of this. It's last summer, probably. And shortly after that, I'm on Amazon one day, just looking at them again, you know, got interested again. And they had this one. I forget what the original price was, but it had a, it was a lightning deal. So it was cheaper. And then they had an extra $80 off coupon. And I went, okay. I paid 360 something for it, I think. Right now, this one's listed at 600 bucks on Amazon Canada. But they don't have any, and it's, that's just somebody else selling theirs, I think. And you can, I put it on the screen there. You can buy this one now for about 340 US. Um, I've heard that there's a new one coming out from them any day now. <laughs> so I forget what it's called. Somebody will know in the chat. But anyway, without yapping too much more. Let's see if there's even a printer in here. It's been sitting here since late summer, fall. With others. It's in the hallway upstairs. It became a really nice table. Standing up on end. So. Hello, 
Hello there, Eddie. Thanks for stopping in tonight. Always good to see you here. How are things down in the in the south these days? Notice I'm doing the printer thing that may take a little while on Saturday, not Sunday on race day. Wow, they actually do put a piece of plywood in here. Huh. Um, well, let's try the top down cam and see. Unfortunately, I'm in my basement and the ceiling's only that high. So I can't really make the camera go high enough to wide enough to see all of this. But I saw somebody else open one of these and they had a piece of plywood. And I thought that was just like a temporary thing, but there's a piece of like one eighth inch good one side plywood in here. <laughs> find something to do with that. Maybe I'll use it for bed leveling. I'm sure it's perfectly flat. Uh, it's actually good two sides. What do you know? I, I thought maybe I'm wrong. I thought wood was like expensive in China. They pro the scary thing is they probably buy it from us. It's gone on a ship all the way over there, been used here, and then shipped all the way back. It's possible. I'm pretty sure it's one of the things we send to them. Rainy. Super Racer, that's it. Thank you. Maker Viking, how's things... Those things in the, the opposite end of the planet tonight, up in the far north. Michael Daniels, thank you for stopping in. I know, I'm doing stuff live. I'm actually doing stuff. Okay, I'm going to try something today and it doesn't work that way you have to still be on it oh, I was oh well so once I get the box out of the way I can see the chat better I was the kid who took the knife and cut all the wrapping paper off but I'm way past that now As a kid, I wanted that, that part to last. Got the ever popular PLA white. 200 grams, though. It's a fair amount. Too bad I never use these. I can't remember ever using those. Got a micro SD card, reader, spare nozzle, some two grease. Doesn't sound wrong at all, does it? Spare hot end, so that's two spare nozzles. Fun, let's see what else, what else they gave us. CSD, which we'll need later. Spare thermistor. Wow. And spare limit switch. Not sure, what that one's for. It's called the gift bag. Like some of those things aren't really gifts; they're kind of important. But okay, seems to be a thing. Cables, USB cable, power cable. Pull that one out. We'll probably need it. We won't, on the other hand, hopefully. Must be And now I can't remember. Let's do some more good stuff. Got the ever popular pair of snips. I wish they'd start sending different colors. I bought some yellow ones a while ago. Yes, they did not have orange. So I bought yellow ones just so they were different. I got tired of looking at blue ones. Because they are literally all over the house. We need that. 
anybody ever used these little screwdrivers that comes with these things? I never, don't think I ever have. This one's one of my favorites. The, the nut driver chrome, probably one of the heaviest things in most printers. We got the screw bag and another one. I think this is the spares, but we'll find out. Yeah, that's the spares. I believe because they're all different. Anyway, put all the tools in there for right now. And, oh, but wait, there's more. Oh. The spatula. Ground decent, actually, for a change. I think I don't usually use the ones they give me. Instructions, we'll probably want those. It's been a while since I watched anybody else's videos on this one. Here's the important part. And that's attached. Oh, that's the, the top. Okay, let's get that out of the way first. I'm not even sure if this thing's going to fit on top of the table down here. Probably not with the spool holder for sure. We've got the, the top with limit switches and places for the rods to go in. And spool holder patches over there, I believe. Screwed her here. All right. We'll need that in a while. See red lights here. Thank you for stopping in. Well, I'm glad you're doing not too bad. I guess that's a good start. Similarly, I'm surviving. <laughs> Trying to keep sanity. Or whatever I had before. Stop it. Let's get these out of the way too. I think this is all like one layer. This kit. Or where it lets go and breaks my nose. Oh, I don't want <laughs> Sorry about that. How'd that feel? <laughs> these are the the side vertical covers. Support. Support you're gonna get. Your integral part of the whole thing. The part that was holding those in is all the rods. The linear rods. Hopefully they're linear, they're not curved. Curvular rods. I will give them credit. It's packed in well. Here's the extruder. Okay, so it's kind of a Titan clone. So. They even put their name on their motors. Seems like one of the first things people seem to do on this is get rid of that, but yeah, we'll try it and see how it goes. Today, we're just going to put it together. Worry about all the things I might do to it later on another video. Now comes the, the exciting part. Little bits of foam. Yeah, it does seem to be well packaged. I'll give them that. Seeing as my last one was just dropped in my driveway, and dropped is an accurate word, because I had it on video. 
they dropped it about the last six inches onto the ground into the black top so hopefully this one does better the other one just made a lot of noise when i turned it on i figured i had nothing to lose at that point okay now we'll nicely set that one there take this Try not to hit any of the cameras or knock the stuff off the chair behind me. And it's got some weight to it. I'll give them that. All right. You can see the questions again. All right. Here we go. yet. More things to get tangled. Good evening, Michael Cassell. More things in your neighborhood. leave that piece of foam there just to protect the base although one thing I guarantee that I'm going to install on this in the next little while is a metal flexible belt plate this looks like another ultra base clone type deal I'm not patient enough I bought a flex plate off AliExpress sitting upstairs. But I'll use it for a few days as is first. Mostly just so I can say that I did. It's got to do with automatic bed leveling. <laughs> I don't know if you can see those. At first glance, these two pictures look like it's a cooking manual. Like something's cooking in a pot on the stove. Why lubricating oil on plain shaft? I'm going to have to look at those later and see because zoom them up. I think it's they were doing this on their kitchen counter beside dinner, which is fine. I've done things like that. Llamas? You saw llamas? Did you touch the llama? I touched the llama. You or your kids are the right age, you'll get that one. Was there any giraffes? It's a good thing to do with your day. I watched live streams and did a bit of my taxes. Okay, let's take a look at the book figure out what we got to do. Now, I don't even know if this is a QQS or a QQS Pro, and I don't think there's really an easy way to tell. Power switch is on the back. I believe that is one of the ways to tell it's a Pro. Even in their Facebook group, there's differing opinions. I think they just kind of throw parts in until, until they get them and they send them out the door reading it looking for the pictures oh yeah we got to make sure that I set the voltage right let's do that before I totally fade I don't think it needs that I'm just a big fan of purple glue stick man and when it's on a 
flexible steel sheet, probably with PEI coat on it. It's so much easier to wash the glue off and reapply a fresh coat every 10 prints or so. It just works for me. I've spent enough time with things lifting edges and all of that. Now I hope that I can Alright, and then we'll just do it this way. You got to feed a giraffe. Well, that's way better than what I got to do today. I got to start preparing to feed the government. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. We're on hard lockdown here. As of this morning, the story changed tonight, but as of this morning, we basically were supposed to stay on our own yard. They tried to say that, that you could be charged for being up driving, walking, anything without any reason to be there other than food, medicine, you know, the main things. And most of the major local police forces said, F that, we're not going to be stopping people for no reason. We have enough problems in that PR area. We're not doing it. So they get hassled enough for carting. So, so they, uh, Dialed that back a little bit on the news today. I was kind of laughing. Didn't think that one would last very long. I would take the time to go fight them in court later on. If I got a $750 bill for going to the store or anything like that. Yeah, there's no way I was going to reach down that far. Never use a metal thing for this. Oops. Okay. Set the right way. Yep. Everyone, let's take a look in here while we're here. Huh? They're branding their own boards now. It says it's an FL Sun High Speed version 1.0. 1.0 is always the best stuff to have, right? Three motors, power switch, blade connectors, fan that's probably loud. Looks like the Wi-Fi module might actually be there. That's what that is. Maybe. Yep, Wi-Fi. I might use it for monitoring, but... I Okay, does anybody use Wi-Fi, like seriously use Wi-Fi to control their printers? Oh, it is, Eddie, but right now the hospitals are filling up too fast and all the, the story, because when the, everything started, they protected the elders, right? People in nursing homes and that, and now everybody's all the younger ones are like hey we can just go party yeah no so it's the way it goes so they're at the point now where they're just days away from having to decide who lives and dies and who gets any treatment at all because just isn't enough space to take care of people they've tried shipping them around to different hospitals and they've run out so so too many variants and too many people ending up in the hospital sick unfortunately People can't follow basic rules. Do you really? I don't get Wi-Fi. Like, I can't start a print from the other room. Like, they always need a little bit of purge to get going and, you know, it's make sure that everything's clean. I guess if you had enough cameras on it, I don't know. 
I couldn't see me, I could see me pausing it and monitoring it. I've done that with Octoprint. I've got cameras, little wise cams on most of mine. Yeah. Yeah, Octofarm. Yeah, that would work. But I, but do you start prints remotely? Like just go, oh, I think I'll start it on printer number three. I don't know. I just can't see me doing that. My experience, that doesn't really. I think on the Pruces, I'll start them. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I just couldn't, yeah. I'd have a hard time remembering which color film it was on which one, so. That uh, seems like a lot. Of, not that I can't use the exercise to go down the stairs and up and down a few times, so. I should probably. Oh no, we're upside down, that's why. All right. Well, that was exciting. Take a picture in case I have to try and figure something out later. One of 10,000 pictures, right? Oh, yeah. No, I've done that, too. No, I, I get it. I end up with a pocket full. I've washed a few USBs over the years. Not recently, but now that I've said that, tomorrow when I do laundry, I'll no doubt wash a couple of them at least. And now with, you know, some stuff is USB sticks, some stuff is SD cards. And I'm not smart enough to label which printer, like keeping them just on one printer, they just all go in a pile. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should do that. Repeat after me, everyone. Eddie's always right. Now, Eddie, if you would just go kindly go and like this video just for me saying that, that would be pretty cool. Uh, anyways, not subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel so you can see more exciting stuff like this later. At least for the month of April, I'll be live every day doing something. At first, I thought, wow, how am I going to fill like 30 odd days of this? And then I started making a list in Evernote. Yeah, I got lots. And every day, I think of one or two more things I could do. So. So hopefully after the end of April, I still keep doing it. Not every day, I can tell you, but but it's been good. <laughs> ha! That's okay. Thumbs down are fine too. I'm not really trying to grow an empire here, so. As long as I still have a day job, I don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. I didn't cut anything in half. So that's true. I wasn't being mean, honest. Yeah, I've, um, I, I really like wise cams for watching printers. <laughs> Back in the old days when I used to go to the office, um, it was great that I could at least check on things remotely and then check on them again as the spaghetti pile got bigger and bigger because it always seemed like the one that had that happen wasn't on a smart switch or didn't have a an octoprint hooked up to it. So, and I don't know why Wi-Fi wouldn't help me there. All 
All right. Okay, we're down to the important part now. Cautions, how about we just get to put it together part first. Open package, da -da 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 -da. take all them out. Place the bottom shell, done. Insert optical axis through slider to shaft seat bottom. Gotcha. Hey there, Flyo Nick, how's it going? Look at me putting tools, oh, you didn't see it. I put tools back in the holder. Look, I never do that. So I just buy those every once in a while. Okay, let's get some of these unwrapped. Eddie is in pain regularly, that's for sure. At first I thought he was just groaning at me, but that wasn't it. Maybe again later, but... Eh, none of them look too bad. Okay, let's get this thing ready. doing things I guess they they certainly like foam yeah, I want that okay hold on for a second Do you have mini printers? Save that one. Use it later. Interesting. Okay, so that's that one. Let's start over there. apologize now because I am going to end up hitting the camera lots of times during this this deal. Probably, I guess I'll learn after the first one. Sorry. 
Okay, yeah, we'll be able to set it up here. as I feared. I feel like this isn't going to work out so well. <laughs> If I start twisting everything around, <laughs> there must be another way to change that. I'm just gonna put these ones in for now and see. I'm feeling that getting these all organized is gonna be just a trip and a half. Now let's try and do it. So those ones are gonna go like that. It's got a double twist in it one right at least it started off right I figure I just messed up the other two but I don't see any way to spin them and they put all those little white tie things on them to keep them from coming apart so if they intended it that way Smarter. I didn't hit the camera that time. going to be logically what we want. Yep. All right. Okay, so that's one. There's no gummy bears, so I'm using the usual Diet Pepsi. See if this logic works out. Well, that looks like it might actually do it. <laughs> what do you know? Cameras are great, but you're hitting them. That's why we leave the, the foam on there.
Okay. Those are all in. Ta-da! Not that one. That one. Ta-da! Less of my belly, more of printer. Their issue with all of these with the touch screen over there the power switch on this plate screen over here these two are the back and the sd cards over here why they don't put that stuff on the front they must think it has to look pretty news for them in my world these all sit in darkness most of the time nobody sees them unless i happen to take a picture of them Okay, it says the optical access is completed. I'm not sure what optical there is, but. They call these accesses. Put the top on with the logo the touch screen in the same direction all right so what's next when do you put the art the outside pieces on oh last hmm. all right All right. So far, I haven't made any mistakes. So far. I know, just plug it in. Let's let it go. Let's see what happens. Probably not much. A lot of noise and wreck belts if we started right now. Eddie says, yes, more than 10 printers. Now, this is where we're going to have to move off the off of that center down camera and because it's tied to the it's just mounted on the hanging from the drop ceiling bars with custom printed arms no less of course there's even some orange in there i know hard to believe so well, you can't even see it on that camera. Wow. Well, you're just not going to see the top. It's just all there is to it. You just have to trust me. Trust me. Okay. It says take the part with the logo on it. Oh, L son. I still can't figure out what that thing is. It's a hot end, but is it like a B or... Clunk. Okay, that one did not go in the there we go I felt better that's it I think three was 2015, maybe into 2016. Got to three. 
Don't buy more than three. Trust me. Or if you do, get rid of some of the first ones. Don't end up with all of them still in your house. More or less. The problem with older printers is there's a reason that I didn't use them anymore. And I don't want to inflict that on others, usually. Rid of a sidewinder. The ones I should get rid of but never would inflict on anybody are ones like this one. The M3D Micro. Notice the covers off the front of it. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's because it has heat creep issues. You know why? Because there was no fan in it. <laughs> I don't have a CNC yet. Because garage here means winter up here in Canada, and uh, winter in a garage on a CNC means I'd have to heat it and insulate it, and I don't have anything I need to do to spend bad enough to spend that much money yet. I said yet. Let's go back to the popular collection of stuff. Screw bag. Camera. Translations. Which printer are you? Have you got coming, non-fam? And part two of that question to to Eddie, which belt one have you got coming? Sell a resin printer. Oh man, nine by nine room. Yeah, that that would be tough. I had one of the one of the minis running in my office there for about a month ago for a couple of days, and the people on the work teams calls were complaining because it was noisy. So I moved it back downstairs. Miners. The upper shell is completed, even though you can't see it. Yeah, can't do that from there. That's just me. Oh, a little bit more light. I almost ordered a CR30 from Pooch. Oh, cool. I'm not familiar with the Halo one. Played the game, but that's different. Different Halo. You know, I almost did it, but... By the time I get a CR30 shipped from California, from Pooch, up here... And just the weight of it, the shipping cost, and then paying all the Canadian import 
taxes and imaginary duty fees and all that. Kind of pricey. But I really want one, and I like that you can just mount it on the wall. I can put it right there, but I'm not doing it. Hi there, Dana. How are you? Two weeks. This is day 17 in a row. But for you, it's two weeks in a row. But I'm on day 17 of of the the Vita challenge there. But thank you for stopping in. Good to see you. Don't you ever get days off? <laughs> okay, Agent Dan, they need to give you more time off. Okay, untangle and put all those on. Close enough. So I'll untie all these first now. Uh oh, what else did you buy from Pooch? <laughs> I've got I've got three rep boxes and a bunch of filament that that I still got from. The last ones were from Earth 2019. One of the one of the rep boxes is in a box over there. <laughs> I haven't set it up yet. One's here, first one. The other one's in or this is the second one. First one's in the other room. The one I bought at Earth doesn't have any end panels, like nice ones even. Not even just plain ones. They're just plain black, so I can make print a set. Pallet three. Now that I want to see. I came up with this idea. For me to be short. Um, it is probably going to crash down. It's actually. Do that. I'm taking myself for a ride on the headset. Honestly, there it is right there. Wow. Ever buy footstools in black? You can't find them. They're dark. Stress testing that. I have a Palette 2 Pro that I barely ever used. It's close to never. Oh, that'll be nice. P2 on the Mini and the P3 on the Railcore. My P2 is right there. Right in the last place I used it. Yeah, okay. How about sweet? So are you supposed to do that? Is that supposed to move through there? Or is it supposed to be crimped? Doesn't make sense if it's supposed to be crimped. It makes sense to crimp somewhere. <laughs> well, 
don't take that one off yet. Let's skip the gears. Okay, we're going to be brave on this one. So I need it to give me a little bit of This is going to be fun. Okay. One. Sorry, I have the camera again. Ta-da! You can't see this part, it's pretty exciting. If only I had a table that would, like a sit stand table that would just automatically move downward when I needed it to. Yeah, no. Sit stand desk, but building this up there. I learned that sit stand desks are fun for a while. Some days I really like it, other days I wonder why. Okay. stool for now. And let's see what we do next. Untie the belt, straighten, insert the metal pulley into the slot, make screw head and nut are at the same height. Really? No, I think that's too much. I think you're supposed to tighten them, aren't you? I don't know. Okay. 
Good evening, Jerry. Thanks for stopping in. How are things in your end of the world? Same method installs other belts. Tie the wire, connect the wiring. Seems pretty straightforward so far. Get this plastic out of the set screw. Sure you've got one of these, don't you? FL Sun, something or other, of some variety. Then I bought this. The price difference between the between this one and the Q5 was. Insignificant. How's that for a good way to put it? There it goes. That's what I want to hear. Clip sound. Q5. Does it work well? I know when I ask that, you go, yeah, I've used it twice, but <laughs> do you use it much? I thought these look cool when, when they're doing boss mode, maze mode, however you want to say it. I don't even know what the true Canadian way of saying that is, so. always wanted a delta that worked. See, I just starting to think I'm really weird in 3D printing land. I hate run out sensors. They screw up and make pr more problems for me than they help. The Chiron one, it was, it kept giving a false positive. It would just say, oh, I'm out. And it's because it's, they're just cheap limit switches inside most of them. They're not really too complicated. My Mark threes are disabled in software. Um, cause the same thing, they just, well, the, I had them when they were early in the year. I've got the earlier versions, the originals, and they just don't work right. They fixed them later. I've got all the stuff to fix them. Just don't need one. And on the minis, I've got them and I think I'm going to take them both off. Same thing. I don't really need them. I don't try and run filament right to the end of the spool. So I look at the spool, it's half a spool. I can print almost anything I print. And if there's a question, I use a new one. So I bought, bought a bunch of Tim's TH3Ds, bed leveling, whatever he calls them. But I haven't installed any of them. Like everything else I do, buy it and don't use it. It was a deal. They were on sale. Okay, put those in. Connect the others. Install the Titan extruder. Technically, I doubt that it's an E3D branded Titan, but okay. Recently, I've had two spools that I got near the end of, and I wasn't even thinking about it. One was on the Chiron with the Matter 3D. 3D? Yeah, Matter 3D, the new guys out DC with their stuff. And I just did one more print, wasn't even thinking, and, and it finished. And there was like two rounds on the spool left. But, but the filament sensor for that one has a piece of gray filament stuck in it and just laying on the table beside it. I haven't used it since about the third week when the thing kept stopping. It's like, oh, let's get rid of that. So connect. Hold on. 
put it in. I guess we use some of these because they aren't really telling me. So I think I'll use a couple of these. Yeah, we got lots. No, we'll take them back. It is nice that they use, looks like they use the same screws on pretty much every part of this. Could need that stool again. Been here the other day, Jerry, when I was trying to use an airbrush. That was funny. <laughs> For the first time. And the second time and the third time. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put this monster. <laughs> I don't have a plan for that. It's got to be a lower table, kind of, but it's the same problem. They put the display, the control display at the bottom, and the feed mechanism and everything's at the top, so you're kind of, I don't know. Most people, we have things so that the controls are eye level, not at belt level, so... But, hey... Doesn't their short one have it in the top? <laughs> I think. Uh, okay. Maybe that's why you're supposed to use their Wi-Fi control and never have to touch anything, right? Even I'm not believing that. All right. Yep. Is that all right? Okay, Titan Extruder is installed. I like this one, it's one of my favorites. Connect the airline. So this goes all the way up and around the top, really? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Are you kidding me? Yep. Yeah. That's what that hole's for, all right. That's how I was hoping I was going to use that. Oh, well. Got an air compressor. Yeah. I'll send them a photo of me holding this, saying, I don't know where to plug it in. Connect the airline. That's pretty awesome. I think they would add one person that understands English look at their stuff before they send it out or at least like this isn't a new model by any means even last summer it was it was not you know brand new I guess I'll play along. They've got a printed sleeve. It's held on with a speed tie, which I assume you leave in place. That protects it. I 
I guess. Well, let's find out. Key over there. All right. Okay, well, that's in there. We'll take that. To fix that later. Okay, we got that. That's probably the line for the. I don't like going through there, but we'll do it for now. Did they ever tell us to do this? Well, they do. Connecting extruder motor line. Huh, the next step. Get me following the instructions without even looking at them. Connect the feed tube. Sorry, I skipped ahead and did that one while I was there. Holman holder. Does anybody remember seeing one? It's probably in the box still. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> it's tucked into the foam somewhere. Ta -da. Oh, I'll be bad. If I find gummy bears now, I'm going to test. that is what that is. There it is. That's the other piece I was out of earlier and then forgot about. The bed leveling unit. Okay. Or let's skip ahead again. And the top down to the bottom. This isn't so bad. How far in are we? A little over an hour. Pocket time, that's not bad. He says as he starts to run into problems.
Hey, don't go with me on the floor. We'll be using the spares. They hit the floor. There's not a top and a bottom to these, is there? Because that's not really. I feel like it's in the right place. Let's go with bent. Thing. Okay, spin, index. <laughs> One more.
Yeah, I really don't have any real clue where this is going to go yet. Good time to think of it now. <laughs> okay, we got everybody in. Put your head inside, take a picture. Yeah, those should be tight. <laughs> well, maybe just a bigger. Okay, they're tight. All right. Okay, it's just me. That's silly. They all would have come loose. Okay, we're in the home stretch now, I hope. That side, blah, blah, blah. Tighten fixing screw of the side shell. Filament holder. Really? Okay, we'll try. I think they sent extra screws because we just ran out. I used the one that I dropped, so I'm glad they sent more. <laughs> it's just barely going to fit down here, the ceiling. I could set this on a lock table, right? Got a couple of them that aren't made into towers yet. Okay, let's put that on. I'm glad I have this little step stool. Oh, that's short. And it's going to go that way, I guess. Sure, let's go with that. I need two more from the spares because I didn't quite get enough of those. From the screw bag.
another thing that needs a design adjustment. The spool holders on the far point of the triangle away from the from the extruder. So you have to kind of run things at a weird angle. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. What does that do while I'm up here? Getting the fixing screws to the upper shell. Didn't we already do that? All those. Why? Why do we have to do all those? And gravity and the others? Screw that. Gravity's gonna hold those just fine. That's gonna make any difference. Guess I'll find out when something doesn't work right. They're held in place with the side panel with these. Okay, let's be brave. Oh, the ceiling is like, if I put a, a large diameter spool on there, it's gonna rub on the ceiling down here because it's the ceilings aren't that high. In a basement in an older house. So this was built in the 50s, 40s, something like 50s, I think. I know. Got a feeling it's going to end up on a on a little lack table with a little chair in front of it so I can see the screen. <laughs> with old eyes and, and looking down at the floor for things like that are just not good combinations. Okay, is everybody ready for the for the smoke to come out? So down is on. Always, always handy. A little bit of air coming out of the fan. Okay, hold still. reason I wanted this camera for close-ups is right there. Manual focus. Well, that didn't help. It's weird. Because we're going to get... Okay, are you ready? You won't hear it, but... Um... Might have heard it. Okay... Well, it thinks that we want to do auto leveling already. Shouldn't we kind of see if it heats up first? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> let's do auto leveling. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't miss a page. I didn't tighten the screws very well. Have the right tool for that. No, yeah, it's ball. Maybe they don't take any couple of turns, quarter of a turn. 
just in case. In case it wants to fly apart. Not. One for the half blind guy to do those. Okay. Yes, Llama's right. These are the good ones. Well, as the name's worn off, when you're using them. Okay. This is the bed leveling sensor, that little blue part. Over there, that's the part that makes contact with the bed and uh, does its thing, sends the signal back. This is a shock sensor. Okay, let's just do it. Go here, connect it there. Unless they haven't told me to take the protective film off the yeah. Where's the little log to hook this to? There it is. There it is. That's kind of tricky. that happened. Yeah, they never tell you to take the, the bed covering off. Well, I'm gonna, because if it gets scratched, I'm not concerned, because it's not gonna stay for long anyway. Not my plans, anyhow. Yes. Hey, it'll get it. You want one of these? <laughs> what doesn't suck? All right. Da -da -da -da. All right. Time to sit for a while. So my back is saying, hey, you sit for a living, buddy. <laughs> oh, printer. You don't want one of these. You already had one of these. You got rid of it, sort of. Big. Way bigger than this Delta. That thing was huge, wasn't it? The monster. Okay. It says tools. Auto level. That's it. <laughs> And then it says remove the sensor when you're done. Oh my gosh. All right. I guess we just do it. Please plug blah, blah, blah. Leveling switch 
It's on there. Well, that's interesting. Let's just stop that. Is none of the belts are tight yet. They didn't didn't do that part. <laughs> oh, you need another delta. You missed the first one. Okay. Is there any point where they said? It says make screw head and nut are at the same height. I guess that means <laughs> we're supposed to. I thought these would go up and hit the, the limit switches at some point, which are plugged in. But the belts aren't even remotely twangy, like they're like they're loose. <laughs> Something's not right. <laughs> I wonder if they're even on on the bottom. If they're on the on the steppers on the bottom even because they're like I've tightened the top tensioning nut screw nut whatever they call it <laughs> as far as I can and they aren't snug like they're still here thank you for a little ride like the belts are still like this and when I tighten the nut all the way till it bottoms out like it's just they're still got that much play in them. I don't think that's right. Is Jerry still on or not? Can't tell. Can't tell who's here and who isn't. But I got a feeling that that I might need another Delta too. <laughs> uh, this one might sucketh. Let's do it this way. Okay, bringing you along for the ride. Oops, almost. Okay, I need another extension on the USB. Sorry about that. Good look at me. Oh, that'll kind of precariously balance there. No longer USB for the for the close-up cam, as it were. P5 is good to go. I don't understand why the belts are like they're in the pulleys at the top. You can see them now, but it's like they must not be on the steppers or something. And I don't see any way to adjust the height, like the tension there. I thought the only tension adjustment was the nut on the top. Something not the right. As far as I know, they they can independently go up and hit the top. Once you've got them sort of pointed the right way, it should work. So I'm kind of confused. I'm sure, I've done something wrong. The instructions are um, less than good. How's that? Can you even see where they are here? A little bit of hot snot, that's for sure. Yeah, the belts are. Let me see if I can turn this without breaking the TV. Let's get some more light in there. The expensive flashlights. Let's 
see that white curve piece there where the wire looks to go into it well that's the cover that's on the on the belt the belt comes down and that just keeps the belt from skipping off the gear as far as i can tell and they're all enclosed and the belt is on there so that's that don't see any other adjustments that we can make so how the hell do we do that maybe i'm starting to understand why that guy wrecked his and then dumped it on me they're all they're all on there they're just <laughs> terribly loose Terrible issue there where the belt will rub against the wire, but not in the first few days, anyways. Nobody sending me any messages going, no, no, push the blue button. It says I'm live on my channel. Huh. Okay, now I gotta around this thing to read the chat. Yeah, that's all you do is you put the, all I had to do was put the bolt up through the hole and put the the knurled nut on it, whatever they call it, and um, and I can tighten them right up until they bottom out like with the metal U-bracket holding the pulley right against the top panel. And they're still loose, like baggy loose. Yeah. All right. So I'll go watch some videos later tomorrow and it'll say, oh, by the way, they didn't tell you this part. And these ones usually go for me. I was lucky my Chiron came pretty assembled. They could have been used as a, to make a video model. It gets a bad rap, and I put a 0.8 nozzle on it, and I like it. 0.4 was kind of boring because it was so slow, but to do anything big. But Again. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah, I'll have to go watch a video and learn where I messed up or not that their instructions have any steps about this. It just says make screw head and nut are at the same height. At least they put the in there. Insert the metal pulley into the slot. Did that. Gonna lose some tools tonight. Okay, there's no way I put it back. <laughs> it's not my thing. Do -do. Gotta be something, something I'm missing or something else that has an adjustment point that I just didn't notice. I'm looking at them and I'm not seeing any. 
unless the belts jump the no they're just idlers they're smooth pullers i can see them Watching that camera. Oh, they just don't. They're just baggy. And they're fixed on one side, which is good, otherwise, it would just fall. On there. And I tighten that up all the way. That should be in the. Well, that one almost does. All right. Maybe I just magically fixed it by doing nothing. You know this is going to work now, right? Yep. It's all perfect. I fixed it. No, I think mine are just, I think they're clipped in. I think they're in the molded, like the way the there's two little screws at the top of each of the, the pieces. You can't see what I'm doing. Each on the, the little piece, the carriage or whatever you want to call it, there's two screws there. I assume that lets you take it apart so you can pinch those belts in better. But now they seem to be doing what they're supposed to. So let's try again. I have no idea what the difference is, but I'll go with it. Okay, let's bring this one over. And I really gotta do some work on this rig. This was kind of an experiment. This stopped me from spending 200 bucks on another camera, so. You know the one that um, DeWitt has? That white one that beeps when he focuses it or whatever? I was gonna get one of those. I was like, wait, I've got a webcam that has manual focus on it. It should be great for close-ups. Things you have to touch it to focus it. It's hard to do. But touching everything. I think the $40 solution and the old desk light thing works fine. Yeah, it should do a decent height. I mean, the problem with deltas is they need that extra foot plus of space just to to get the head to go up to a reasonable height, right? So, yeah, that camera they had is pretty cool, but I can't remember what I paid for this little stand. It's a microphone stand, I think, actually. But the microphone, when I had it, now it's mounted to the ceiling, with like Tinker Toys, like everything else down here that I printed, but just GoPro extensions that I made. Um, but it was too heavy. It was falling over all the time. And by the time you angled the thing and tilted it, it took up a lot of space. So it became a casualty about a year ago. So, yeah, it's a... Okay, let's try this again. I know I'm going this time. That's better. That's what I expected to happen goes up, it hits the 
Okay, let's put you on a wide view for a minute while I reposition the camera. I'm going to do something to counterbalance this yet, but it'll get there. I have to relabel my... But this is going to take a while. Yeah, like, I really like that, that camera they've got, but up here it's like 168 bucks, And even, it's a, just under 100 I think, at Amazon.com. But then shipping and border nonsense and taxes at the border, it's, it's like 100 and, 30 bucks ish. I thought, okay, I'll just order it from Amazon.com. And then I started thinking about this camera that was bought back at the beginning last year, back in March, because I gave one of my C920s to one of my kids so they could play with streaming while they were off work. And I tried it down here as a wide angle shot camera, but it, it just, it just sucks for that. But for this, it seems fun. So, we'll see. I'll give it a try for a while and see how it works. I like the little blue light that goes. It looks like it's sparking, but I know it's just a blue LED that triggers, but, but it looks like it's sparking. I hope it's not sparking. They're good at branding. They put their logo right in front of everything. I think I'll have to use some of their their speed lube or whatever they called it. Well, I don't think that's supposed to be there. I think that's supposed to be in there somewhere. But there's fine for this week. Gonna make the little clips to put all the wires in behind to hold them out of the way so they don't get chewed up. That's not the first prints. So you should go grab some. Okay, Jerry, thanks a lot for stopping in. Good to see you. I see you typing. <laughs> Anyways, take it easy. Be safe, sir. This is video at its finest. Yeah, I could see this probably getting a pie. Kind of to it. Feel them around here. Gives me time to read the manual. I still don't have any idea what I did by turning it upside down and back. <laughs> Everything was in place. <sighs> and I tightened the bolts holding the rods for no reason even. it no well, it says okay let's go back to that make sure the leveling sensor has been removed We didn't really get back to that screen, but I think I'll be safe and just take it off now anyways. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, it tells you. Oh, it's not fun. I 
I came up with these bright ideas, but she had a little bit more grippier connector for that kind of thing. It's tucked out of the way close enough. And say confirm. And it's going to come back down and hopefully not crash. Jeez, that's... It comes down and it goes... It just stops. <laughs> okay, I just said. Really? We just do it like that? Let's use the, the other sheet that I didn't read. Oh, the precautions for auto leveling. Wait. Oh, hey, here's how to adjust the belt. Doesn't help, eh? Just says. Don't make it too tight. Don't make it too loose, basically. Clean the platform before leveling. Too late. I wonder what the bucket of food has to do with it. All right, so we're going to use a piece of paper. I guess we'll be cleaning the bed later. I'm going to use this piece of paper because why not? Um, Minus 2.8, it moves. Minus 2.9. So we'll make it 2.8 so we don't gouge anything up. I like how they just say adjust it. They don't tell you really what to do. <laughs> Change the range? Oh, you can. Okay, we can go tighter. All right. We can do 0.1. Okay, I'm good with that. We saved it. Click save. Um, let's clean the bed like we were supposed to do before. The teacher won't know. Well, it's got that nice yellow urine color to it. <laughs> Whatever they put on this stuff to protect it. Maybe they just pee on everything before they send it over. There, if I'm going to make a short, if I ever figure it, if I ever get eligible to do this, I forget what the rules are, but maybe they just pee on everything before they send it over. A good short statement. Get the little peeing on a Ford guy graphic to come up. I got a feeling it's rubbed that 30 times and it's going to keep coming out yellow. All right. Let's put some filament in. Do they tell you to take the filament clip off? No, they do not, because it came with a filament clip, which I already removed. Filament passed through the quick connector will be okay. Oh, that's fun. 
Gee, what color filament should we use? I know what I'm going to pick. AMZ 3D PLA. I haven't bought much of this for a while. They still sell it. it. Used to be what I bought all the time on Amazon Canada. So, ends already cut. And I chopped it off of last. It was off the mini actually, or the might have been the Cameron Cameron. I just I did an alright job. Two hundred dollar print was. Under 400 Canadian for it, three something. Aw, oh, thanks, man. No, oh, I think I used up all my filament one. I can't remember now. I had a spool. I got a spool at Murph last year. Last, last year. Last real Murph. Okay. I get to guess. Well, at least the school holder works. Here we go. I know orange. <laughs> Some people think I don't own any other colors, but I really do. Brian Vines. How are you tonight, sir? Thank you for stopping in. I think you missed Jerry. I think he failed. There it goes. We've got orange. We've got orange down to the hot end. Adequate. Well, adequate's good. Adequate's more than okay these days. We have a Q5. Now that I've had to like reach up over my head several times, get a step stool, and nobody can see the top of this thing because I don't have enough camera angles for that. Five isn't enough. I guess I could have planned ahead and added another one. But um, yeah, maybe a shorter one would have got the the delta vibe out of my head just the same way. Scratch that itch. I thought it would be fun. It's not like it's destined to be a money maker or anything. It's I just want one that looks cool. The original plan was to put it in my office, but I've read that these are um just a tad noisy. <laughs> <clears throat> so maybe having it in my office upstairs isn't good. Oh, there's a good one. Eddie Mosier. Wait a minute. We gotta gotta bring that up. Orange, you're going to tell them about you being the punniest person on the net. DVD 3D. He is. He is the punniest. You are well known. I always complained about the music tonight, so I guess it's working. Or it's not. Nobody's just saying anything. Oh, 
Okay. Unfortunately, that's not the best element for what I was going to use for my first print, but maybe we'll do their print for the first one. But we're not using their white crap that comes with it. <laughs> Makes me laugh until I peel myself. <laughs> Orange humor. To see people having fun. Okay. I'm going to leave that on that view so you can need to see the menus. We saved it. Okay, let's go to tools. Cha change. Screwed one. Again. Heating the nozzle to 190. Okay. You guys are doing awesome. Maybe it just adds zest. Pun collision. <laughs> we both go for the same one at the same time. The disadvantage of chat right there. Over live vocals okay when was the last time any of you used 190 degrees as your starting point like to print pla does anybody still use like 190 seems like most of the machines preset to that and i've been running everything hot lately Really? Is it because you guys live in a warmer area than me? I used to have a thermometer down here, but I had to use it somewhere else. But I tend to run it like I usually throw 200, 220 on the bed to, for the first layer. And then I might pull it up to 215 or 210, depending on what I need to make it look decent or if I care about it looking decent. If I don't care about the print looking nice, I'll keep the temperature up. But like that matter, what is it, matter 3D, the, the stuff from out west, the PLA, it's it's like a PLA plus. It tends to, it acts like um, protopasta. It needs to run hot. Sorry, I'm interrupting your puns. Okay, I'll step back. Hey, see filament dribbling out. Must be getting warm up there. Okay, hey, completed. Please load filament to extruder and click confirm. Sure. Loading, please wait. Oh, it sure is. They tested with white by the looks of it. You'll see it in a second when it hits the bed in front of you. like Spider-Man dropping down. He comes. The camera. They must sell filament. They like to make you run a lot of it. Which I'm okay with. He's beating me to a ball. <laughs> Again. Just 
two Texans come into a live stream. Oh, never mind. Puns ensue. That's it. And it tells me how to put, how to put, um, how to use Cura. I don't know if I'd ever used Cura. Maybe once or twice, way, way, way many years ago now. I kind of jumped from, from using plain old slicer and here's one of those before that. And then got simplify and use that forever. Now I use Prusa Slicer most of the time because I'm used to it. I only simplify when I absolutely have to when I don't have any other choices. I don't care about any of this. I'll learn as I go along. Common problems. <laughs> Okay, well, let's find the, wherever I put the, the bag with the free gift in it. it Looks like it had an SD card. Lots of nozzles. They're they're cute little tiny nozzles though. They're not. I'm used to. It's some kind of a like a holographic sticker with a serial number on the on the SD card. Means it must be authentic something. Didn't put it in the hole and lose it. So the last time that one will be in there. Um, let's go to print. Well, this is where we have to guess what they are. Does anybody remember which one's which? Test one, test two, or test three? <laughs> what do you say? Do you remember which one was which, Brian? All it calls it is test one, test two, and test three. I think one's the elephant, one's a nut, and one's the bull, right? If I remember right on these, there's an elephant laying on its side, and then do one first. All right. Okay, I'm trusting you. Print model test 1G code. Sure, let's see. Doesn't show me a picture. And it, it only gives me a counting forward timer, not a countdown timer. Oh, the nut and bolt are one print. Oh, well. We'll find out. I could have studied ahead, I guess. As long as it prints something at this point, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> I do have a file sliced for it. I just didn't know if it was an S a micro SD or a, a full-size SD card. But it's on a micro with an adapter. I've got it. But but I want to do it in a transparent. It's a, I want to do VOS mode and try it out with uh, Clockworks, Clockspring name clock spring clock spring right um <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, sorry, non fam. Clock Spring, yes. Man, I think I can remember these things, right? Vase mode, vase mode. Vase mode, vase mode. I've always said vase. I was raised in a house that said vase, but. And I don't think that's a Canadian thing. I think that's just a. Which neighborhood you grew up in? I don't know. It was always a vase. When my mom told me to go find one or get one down from somewhere up on a stool. Again, vertically challenged. My mom was tall as me. But anyway, I used to get sent for them once in a while. One of his most, one of Clock Springs' most recent ones is uh, a really nice one. And I wanted to print it on here. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Base. Base mode. It's an uppity thing. I'm all right with that. You know, it's something classy, right? Just the rest of my world isn't. Greetings, Jeff Slater. Thanks for stopping in. Yes, if you scroll back in the chat, you can see Eddie and, and Brian being punny. They're doing good. Dueling pun my Is this thing doing anything? Bed's at 70. Yep, it's warm. Auden's taking its bloody time. It was already at temperature. It must have done the bed first. What was it? A few years ago now, somebody hated waiting for one to heat up than the other. So they adjusted their, their sequence so it would just do like 10 degrees on one, 10 degrees on the other. And so they'd both be done at the same time. Doesn't really help. It doesn't really change much overall. It just makes you feel better. I know it's making us wait. It's terrible. One seventy-eight heading for ten. One eighty-three heading for two ten. Here comes. Me be brave. Well, we're not down low enough. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Number one is the elephant, just so you're aware. <laughs> it's doing the elephant. See that on the. You'll see it in a couple of minutes. It's not too loud with earplugs in. Gregory, how are you tonight? Thank you for stopping in. <laughs> oh, it's probably a lot louder. And I haven't used any of the, the lube stuff that they sent. What do they call it? Oh, I got to get the name right. Tube grease. It's got a certificate of approval. They approved selling it to me. There's an acupuncture needle in there, of course, just so I can quit smoking, which I don't do, but... I know, they look cool. Yeah, it's kind of noisy. Some 
sometimes the arms resonate. They're not too bad. Grinding to the bed for all I know. It seems like it's got some coming out, so it's already the best for your tube. Tube blue. That's not too bad. It's bearable. And that sounds rough. <laughs> I need to use some of that lube on it in a few places. First print, good enough. One of my minis makes a terrible noise when I when I bring it down from higher on the Z. It comes down about about a third away from the from the bottom. It squeaks a bit. I think it's rubbing against the. There must be a plastic piece that rubs against the, the arm at that point. I'll look at it closer, but it's working. Step back for a picture that wide. Printing, so that's good. Let's make it faster. Speed. About 150% speed. We don't care what the quality of this elephant looks like. Let's see how long it can keep up before it stutters out. One of the main things with these is supposed to be the speed. They can run faster. So we're at 150% now.
whenever I change the menus, it pauses. That was wild. Is a percentage bar. Well, whatever's making that noise, it's not bothering the print at all. And it didn't change much since I went up. I don't know what board, what the board is. It's uh, it's their own brand. I'm not a board. I can't look at them. It's all one from the other. So unless it's got a name on it, it is a. Let me take a picture because I thought this might come up again. It's an FL Sun High Speed version 1.0 board. Doesn't mean much to me. But I suspect it's 8 bit by the way it pauses when I change the, the touch screen. <laughs> touch the touch screen, it briefly pauses. Doesn't mess up, just pauses sending the code for a minute. For a brief second, anyways. I don't think I like 150% speed a lot better than 100% speed. Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh, we're doing infill now. That's why. <laughs> no elephants can move this fast. <laughs> I'm not as good as the others. Imagine the infill is going to suffer at higher speeds. Just probably reduces the flow so much to make it that. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably a bit. Just by the way, it just doesn't respond very. You can only do one thing at a time, you know. Keeping it at 150 percent, so. I have no idea what speed that is, but it looks okay. It looks cool. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, I like streaming. I just, it was a long year last year. That's the best way to put it. In the beginning, I was way too busy with work. And the last thing I wanted to do was anything else at the end of the day. Because work days were 12 hour days, most days back, back in March, April, May, June. And then there was a period where I just thought it was better for some people that, that needed to do more of that for different reasons than I did. And I just didn't feel like doing much. So and then this beta, beta, whatever it is, video every day in April challenge came up through StreamYard through their Facebook group. I thought I should do that, kick myself in the ass and get streaming again more and get some projects done. This has been sitting here since last year sometime shortly after I'll blame Chris Riley because he did the Q5 and then I was like, oh, that's cool. Let's see how much one of those was. And this was just a bit more. So I bought the bigger one, of course. And uh, so, and it's been sitting there ever since. It became a table in my hallway to put more stuff on top of to bring down here. So I 
Wow. I'm gonna post the post the picture to uh, Twitter. Just give me a moment. You guys can see if you can figure out what it looks like to you. To Twitter. or not but anyway let's get that in tweet was sent there you go i posted the picture there yeah it's good to get some stuff done been a long year we all know that and um i've got a long list I put the king rune together and that did that sometime in the last week on here. This is day 17 in a row of doing this, so that's good. So I haven't failed yet. A couple of nights were real close where I almost said screw it, just went to bed, but did it anyways. So even for half an hour, it was still good to do. And um, yeah, it could be no memory, that's true too. But I mean, all my Pruces are, I bought upgrade kits for them of different versions. They all need to be done. You know, I still got an MMU one that I never installed because those things were just, you know, they had some issues in the beginning. And then they brought out the MMU two upgrade. And it's in the box still upstairs. And the S upgrades for all of them. And the ones for the two Mark threes, the S upgrades. And the, I've got a couple upgrades. 2.5 S is it? Changes the motherboard on the Mark two. Or the print bed to a flex plate because I really hate washing glue stick off of that thing. Um, and I replaced the PI once. I'll never do that again. Mark two. And oh man, there's it. E-Tech, G-Tech, however you say it, A10M in the box still. But I wanted to do the Because one thing that the palette doesn't do is it doesn't do gradients. They call it gradient, but all their gradient is is just alternating colors. It doesn't, like, mush them together, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a smooth transition. Where the A10s, the, they, it looks like they do a, they do it in math and in, the, in their software with the dual extruder. So I want to try that out, and it's just been on the list ever, ever since. There you go, see? Thanks for figuring that out. I don't know. It's, so, yeah, like non-fam says, it could just be just not enough memory for it to do everything at once and just has to wait its turn. But it's spraying at 150% and it's doing all right. It looks like an elephant still. Not the best in, cleanest infill ever, but it's a flying basket. Now there's all kinds of stuff. I wanted to explore airbrushing, so I've done a bit of that. I got a long way to go with that. Um, I'll do that again later this week, probably. I just need to find a place to set the airbrush stuff up and then a place I can put a couple of cameras to do that, to do it better. Um, a few software things I want to do, like little tutorial type software videos for. I want to do some stuff with Nomad on the iPad. So I think that's pretty cool for doing 3D stuff. Um, I want to do some Oculus Medium. Another thing to try and figure out how to set that all up to do streaming, streaming with it. <clears throat> but I'll do that over the next few weeks probably. Um, Yeah, I want to. I want to do the gradient stuff. I think that would be kind of fun, because I really like it when, when I use the gradient filaments to do just do a print. You know, just a, a statue type print in the gradient filaments. I like them better. So if I could do that with two colors of my choice, I think that would be kind of fun. 
try it anyways. Not that I need another 220 by 220 printer printing here. I've got a few. And there's a, a few that need repairs. I've got just sitting here looking around. There's a Sierra 10S5 that's never really been good. Um, bought for a project that never really happened, so I didn't have to use it. Chiron's running well. No, I've said that. I'll give you into that. There's a Black Widow that never worked right, never got finished properly. There's a, that one's a CR10, Hicktop CR10. It just needs maintenance from, from doing face shields back in the last spring and summer. It was getting kind of loud and noisy and needs some, probably some move bearings in a couple of places. There's a Maker Select. The Wan Hell looking one. Well, there's a D6 that it was also a casualty of the ear savers back in the summer. Hey, Tony Ryan, how are you tonight? Thanks for stopping in to visit. You still don't have a Delta. Well, let me tell you, if you go to Amazon.com right now, actually for 340 bucks so far, I mean, you know. This probably isn't a bad place to, to start. Hold on. Wait, wait, I have a I have a pop-up screen. You ready? I guess I'm gonna take that down. The FL Sun QQS Delta style printer comes 90% pre assembled. That's probably true. Lattice glass platform. Large printing size 255 millimeter diameter by 360 tall. That's pretty good, you know. That'll do pretty nice size stuff. Auto leveling, we did that. Touch screen, Wi Fi remote control. I'll figure that out another day. Current cost on Amazon.ca is about 600 Canadian, and I paid on a special lightning deal last summer, 366 Canadian. It was a coupon for 80 bucks, and I forget the lightning was. It was like whatever the deal was at the time. They were only like five something back then. So. there there <clears throat> that sounds like a much better idea 300 by 300 by 350 idex is a nice idea too two pallets on the a10m to do a rainbow yeah it sure could what did joel do in toronto last year what or, well, two years ago now with the with all the pallets there. I was there that day, but not when they did that. Maybe they did the next day. I don't know. I was there for that event, but they didn't show it then. I could have one pallet to this. I could hook a chameleon to this. So that would be an experience. Oh, and I've got a bear kit. Guess what color it is? And uh, I was going to do it on the on the Mark II, but I'm not sure about that right now. It'll probably end up on the Mark II still. So. I'll put the MMU2 on one of the Mark III's eventually. Like I, said, I got more than a month's worth of project lined up. And there's more on the list. I've got a list in there. Tons of stuff to do. So My goals were to do something every day. Get some projects out of the way. Get used to using the StreamYard again. I hadn't done much of that for a while. 
and then I want to do some, I want to get it to planet so I can do a live stream and then use that footage to cut into a video maybe, kind of a loose plan. Every once in a while I get asked about something <clears throat> and it would be nice if I had a little short video I could send people to to show them how to do it, tips and trick style. That's kind of in the back of my brain. But you know, I've been working on for a year. Just talking to myself or talking to you guys is kind of nice sometimes. I like that sound when it, it doesn't it doesn't do the what do you call it yet when it lifts up before it moves. It's too late for my brain to get the right time. But it doesn't lift up the Z when it moves across the infill and it kind of does like a thing every once in a while. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be streaming much longer. It's getting late. I'm up on midnight here, so and this is gonna take another couple hours and I'm certainly not staying until that. Probably go grab one of the ice cams to sit in front of this so I can keep an eye on it from upstairs the next hour or so and then give up for the night. But Art cooling fan to fix the Mark 2.5 and then stuck your finger in the hot end fan on the Hamera broke two blades off. Ouch. I'm trying to remember if it was the one of the Mark 3s or the Mark 2 that I did that. I I had a, a failure and the blob, some of the, the the spaghetti went up and jammed itself into the fan and snapped the blades off. of my life sir unfortunately i went through a period where i just didn't fix them and just found another one to buy instead so now i'm kind of trying to get them all fixed up again a couple of them will probably get passed on to other people once i get them working again like the whatever the amount of price maker selects the 200 by 200 type bed one i think when i get it fixed up i'll, I'll pass it on to a friend or something they just don't have anywhere to run it. There it did it. Did that cool sound there? Yeah, 6 a.m. is close to sleeping time, sir. I think you should probably think about that soon. I've been falling into the trap of having a nap after dinner every night for 20 minutes or half an hour or an hour or some nights, some three hours before I finally wake up again. So then I stay up till two. Doesn't work out real well. I gotta, I gotta get out of that habit. But I think that's almost it for me for tonight. Been running two hours and 48 minutes, so. So I wanna say thanks everybody for coming along tonight and thanks for all the good comments and everything. It was really fun. It makes things work better. I'm glad this thing's working. And uh, remember everybody be safe above all and never let the machines win.